Now, so far, technologies this week, ladies and gents, finished the week uh, trading up over 8.5%. Now, you'll remember that, of course, so far, technologies still the same, very so far, technologies last week finished the week up 11%. So, on average, we've been seeing so far technologies uh, uh, rising or shares rising, which is uh, something that is obviously uh, incredible to watch, especially to those that invest uh, into so far technologies. Now, yesterday, when the market closed, so far finished the day trading at $5.67, which is something that if you obviously followed the video, which I did, I think, three weeks ago, if not four weeks ago, where I indicated or showed that the fact that, of course, we are heading towards the Q4 earnings of SoFi Technologies. This is something that is expected out of SoFi Technologies, or this is something that we've been seeing uh, every time SoFi report their earnings. Their shares tends to recover, which is something that is always good to watch. So uh, this, of course, uh, the, those uh, sharp falls or those uh, low trading prices towards the 52-week low uh, are just opportunities or continue to be opportunities for you to load the boat, increase your holdings onto SoFi Technologies because this is the company that continues to do very well regardless of the current economic conditions in the U.S. This is a company that continues to do well regardless of the student loan repayment halts this is a company that continues to do uh, very well which to me is the one thing that stands out and is that thing that makes me to want to continue load the boat increase my holdings whenever i can onto sofi technologies because sofi continues to do very well uh, both when you look at their revenues and of course in the earnings per share so but before we dig deep into this video you already know that this video is just an entertainment video and not a professional financial advice video and i would really appreciate if you can just leave the likes button if you do or if you are enjoying the content that i'm giving you about sofi technologies i mean sofi personally it's one of uh, the stock that is seriously uh, dominating my stock market portfolio because I believe in its future prospects and its fundamentals. Now, yet to date, without wasting any more of your time, the shares of SoFi has risen by 26%. So, these few days of 2023, ladies and gents, we are seeing or we have seen SoFi rising or surging by 26%, which is something that is incredible and amazing to see a stock like SoFi recovering from uh, those uh, share prices or from that uh, $4.80, and $4.70 and $0.60 that we were seeing in the market uh, uh, last year or late last year. So this, the fact that we've been seeing SoFi or we saw SoFi obviously recovering uh, or continuing with the recoveries even this week it is something that motivates me to remain bullish long and uh, strong onto this SoFi technologies. I mean, just yesterday, I scooped more shares into this SoFi technology stock because I am anticipating a good, or uh, once again, good Q4 earnings results. Uh, as soon as you notice that SoFi yesterday, I scooped over 85 shares just to make sure that obviously I get prepared for the upcoming Q4 earnings results, which are said to be announced by SoFi on the 30th of uh, January 2023. 20, uh, now, if you are to look at the screen, you'll notice that, of course, I've got an average purchase share of SoFi of around $7.10. So my average on SoFi right now is sitting at $7.10, which is something that really gets me to be excited because the more we see or I see this stock uh, tanking or trading at lower trading prices is the more I get encouraged or motivated to load the boat, increase my holdings onto SoFi Technologies because I know for a fact that this is a stock that regardless of the economic conditions, regardless of the student loan repayment holds, it continues to do very well, which is something that obviously motivates me to continue loading the boat whenever I can onto these SoFi Technologies. I mean, when I started talking about SoFi on this channel, I think my average was way over, I think it was around or between $14 and $16, which to get to see that to date, I'm sitting at an average of $7.10, which is 
makes me to be really excited because I'm taking a good advantage of the huge sharp drops that we are witnessing onto uh, the kind or these kind of stocks like so far. So I'm really excited and I'm like I said I've made already my Q4 earnings prediction onto so far. If you have not watched uh, the predictions, please do consider visiting this video where I was discussing what is it that we can expect uh, in the upcoming Q4 earnings results of SoFi. Otherwise, I remain to be bullish long and strong onto SoFi technologies. But one thing that I always say to you guys is that before you load the boat, increase your holdings onto SoFi technologies or add this stock for the very first time. It is always wise that you do your own due diligence that at least don't uh, panic when you see maybe sharp falls, sharp drops onto a stock like SoFi. This uh, due diligence helps you to uh, load the boat whenever you see sharp drops while other maybe retail investors uh, might be selling their SoFi stocks. It encourages you, motivates you to take that as an opportunity to scope uh, more shares of SoFi. So it's important that you do your own due diligence before you buy SoFi either for the very first time or increase your holdings. Otherwise, for me, or as for me, I'll continue to load the boat as we head towards the Q4 earnings. Otherwise, that's all from me, and I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey. And God bless you all.